several people have run into some problems with doing the greatest common denominator. There's a great explanation of the math on how this equation works over at Khan Academy. And it explains to you how, what we're doing. The code is actually fairly simple if you can follow the math. So I actually run through mine when I'm testing it with these ample numbers. So I actually just assigned A to 270, B equal to 192. And we're going to write code that will assign variables. So my first line of code is assigning A to 270. My second line of code is assigning B to 192. Then we're going to do a while statement, and it will check both while A is not equal to 0 and B is not equal to 0. And then we're going to divide A by B, literally dividing those variables. We're also going to do the remainder, which is your modulus symbol of A modulus B. And then we're going to set the new A equal to the original B. So we literally do A equals B. And we're going to set B equal to the result of that modulus. I saved it as remainder. And since we're doing that in a while statement, that's the code. It will loop through until either A or Z equals, I'm sorry, A or B equals zero. At what point, at that point, you'll get the answer of six. So let's look at the pseudocode. The explanation of the logic is here, but you don't have to go through all these steps because you simply use a while statement so it will repeat automatically. So that's where the logic of the code is. So this is my pseudocode, which explains the code that I'm going to write. So what I would prefer you to do is actually get use the raw input to get information from, and you're using whole numbers, so you'll convert it into an int, because raw, in, raw input gives you a string. So get the value of the first number, set it to A. Get the value of the second number, set it to B. And then I have a while statement, while a is not equal to zero and b is not to equal to zero, then I have a variable which I called temp, which equals the result of a divided by b, and I have a variable which I called rem for remainder, which equals the remainder of a divided by b. Remember that's your modulus or percentage symbol. You'll set a equal to b, and you'll set b equal to what the remainder was. And because it's a while statement, that'll keep going until the greatest common denominator is reached, and that's what you print on the screen.